Okay, Pisces. Just checking I've got the right one. Yeah, <laughs> Pisces. Um, so I'm here to do the reading from May the 8th to May the 15th. Um, these will be extended readings, so this is part one of the reading. Part two, you can find the description box below. Hit that little arrow, it'll drop down. Um, I'll go and test for them. I'll keep getting that edge fog, sorry. Um, my brain at the moment. Mercury retrograde as well now, I'm Gemini. Um, right, so yeah, these will be extended readings. Um, you can find this particular reading for the extended in the Vimeo link in the description box. Or feel free to join us on the Patreon community. And I want to say a massive thank you to, for those that have signed up to Patreon. Um, on Patreon, for the same amount as um, a Vimeo video, I think it's the same amount. Sorry, I've got a stalker again. Um, you can get all of the extendeds. Sorry, she puts me off because I can see her just staring at me. She doesn't like me talking to people when it's when she's sat there. Uh, so she'll be confused as to who I'm talking to. Um, <laughs> So yeah, you can get all of the extenders. So you can check your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign. Um, I'm sure it be your video. She did this in last time. Betty, you are gonna have to move, baby. I do love you, but you know, I have to work. So come on, move your butt. Honestly, I know I love you too. But sit there, sit there with mummy. Sit, sit. Good girl. Uh, yeah, you lie there. So, main situation. Standing your ground, Pisces. So, having healthy boundaries. Uh, you may feel a little bit defensive at the moment. We do go out into Mercury Retrograde on the 10th um, until the 2nd of June. Mercury Retrograde can bring, it has an habit of bringing people back or situations that haven't been dealt with. Um, so, you know, your boundaries might be like pushed a little bit at the moment or you may feel like your boundaries are being pushed. You've got to stick hold with your own boundaries because you, you've got to be careful that you don't break your own boundaries as well. So you may be feeling like you are a bit defensive at the moment. What's crossing that energy is prosperity beginning. So that's the Ace of Pentacles. So it's about, I feel, I feel like there's a need to feel safe and secure, um, whether it be in finances or whether it be in life in general. Um, the Ace of Pentacles... There could be financial worries and things like that as well. I don't know who, but I feel like some of my parties, maybe not all, could be arguing with themselves about pricing. You know, like feeling bad about putting the prices up for something. And you've got to take a look at the world that's going on around you and, you know, don't dish yourself. Don't feel like you're not worthy of that. Because I feel like there's this massive, like, and that could be, like, value of yourself as well, not just in pricing, actual prices for things. It could be your own value. Don't devalue yourself. Why is it coming round? We do have the emotional loss card. I thought someone was at my door then. No, I don't think they are. We have the emotional loss card. So the emotional loss card, again, it, it's the five of cups. It's looking back over the past. It could be certain regrets. And if I'd have done that differently and if I'd have said that, maybe if I'd have stood up for myself, you know. Um, but Mercury Retrograde, again, it does bring those energies back around. Um, it can even bring people, but we'll see. So in the recent past, we do have the spiritual union card. Yeah, there could have been a relationship involved in this. Um, there could be the breakdown of a relationship, you know, it's the two of cups, you may have felt like you met your soulmate, you know, that type of energy. So at present, we have the crown chakra, so you've got two sevens now, seven, seven. Um, the crown chakra is our umbilical cord to the universe, we download all our information from there. Um, if the crown chakra is blocked, you know, our rubber chakra is going to be out of alignment. Um, so you can even do like a chakra alignment on YouTube, you know, via meditation. Um, you can use colour therapy. But the crown chakra could be overactive at the moment as well as in regards to like dreams. I'm a very lucid dreamer, very vivid dreamer. I always say if you could plug me at my cushion into a TV, I'd make millions that blow Harry Potter out of the water. Um, none of them make sense though. The other week I had two little monkeys in a teacup. Don't know what that's about. Um, but this, it could be about dreams, journaling your dreams, always journal your dreams, take 
visuals, meditations, you know, always write them down so you can go back to them. Um, because I go back to them and I found things and I'm like, oh my god, that was going on then, you know. Yeah, because then near future we've got this memories of love, the six of cups, one from the past or issues from the past. It can be issues gone children as well. But I do feel like this is a past energy. I feel like there's going to be a return from the past where you've had to defend yourself in the past or you've got healthier boundaries now. It's like, no, I'm not putting up with that anymore. Um, so we could even be talking trauma bonds here, people. Um, so your power in this situation is power. <laughs> I love it. So Leo energy there with the power card. But your power is to gain that inner lion, that inner lioness and not put up with this bull anymore. You know, it's to find that personal power within you. So I absolutely love this reading. Um, it's find that personal power within you and have those healthy boundaries and not let anybody push you over those boundaries. Um, so you know your worth. It's about finding your worth now and not looking back over the past in regrets because the outside influence is the solar plexus. So what's having an influence on you is you may not be reading your gut instinct too well. Um, this is the alarm center and it keeps going out for a lot of readings. This is our second brain. You know, this is force. This is information. This is a processor. This is a central, this is your central nervous system. So this is where, and I have anxiety disorder, so I know exactly. Um, and I did this thing where um, for a few months, this was a while ago, I asked every person who'd ever been in an abusive relationship or, you, you know, whether it be physical, mental, um, financial, I asked them when they met this person, where did they feel it? You know, and then I asked one of my friends who's with a lovely person and where did she feel it? She'd been in a, an abusive relationship in the past. And every single person said, oh, they give me butterflies. Like, oh, my stomach would go. And when I weren't with them, my stomach could be going. And then I asked my friend who was in a loving relationship now. And she said, I thought something were off because I didn't get butterflies. And he's lovely. And it's so equal. It's balanced. It's harmonised. And she was worried because she wasn't getting butterflies. She wasn't getting all this, like, sicky energy and... You know, but they, but they do really love each other. It's a massive sign, is that? This this keeps us safe. You know, I will never, ever fault my gut instincts ever again. In the hopes or fears position, the universe, the world. You want to wrap up that cycle. You want to wrap up the cycle. You know, you want to go for something new. I do kind of feel like part of you does want the person back from the past, but is it safe to do so? Because there's some kind of obstacle and challenge. I feel like the obstacle and challenge is the truth. You know, things that you can't see here. You could, there could have been a bully in the past as well. Um, It is the swords energy, the five of swords, you know, that type of thing. Well, you can step over that. This person no longer, longer has power over you because you're getting your power back. All this situation, take it as it resonates. It may not be a person. It could be, you know, a boss. Well, it is but a person, you know. But it's that type of energy of needing to take back control and have firm boundaries. So stand your ground. Let's get a bit of clarification. The King of Pentacles in reverse. That's not nice energy. It's very um, selfish. Can be very money orientated as well. The King of Pentacles in reverse. Could be a Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy, but I do feel it's more of the selfishness and the three of pentacles. So the challenge is to find people from this energy, the three of pentacles, teamwork, makes dream work, people who want to work with you. Some of my Parthians may be going out and getting, you know, legal advice. Um, I feel like there's a, some of you are going towards higher learning as well. It could be of a legal capacity, but you've been through that tower. And it's almost like I don't feel like you're wanting to go back through it again. I feel like there's been a breakup that's really hurt. That is, yeah, I do feel it stressed you out, you know. That is all, look at that horse. That horse is stressed out of its head. You know, so there could have been attacks or things that you didn't see coming. Yeah, devil energy is definitely toxic relationships in the past. So this memories of love in the future, this six of cups. We've got a King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I do feel like you have got help around you to deal with this person. The Two of Pentacles. But I feel like it's hard for you to deal with it because you seem to be juggling your... You know what's better for you and you know that this situation is toxic but you can't help yourself but keep looking back. 
So I really do feel like you need to look at towards like trauma bonds. Because the outcome, yeah, the nine of wands, you've got to heal. This is all messing with your head. You've got to heal, babies. This week, it, it's a feeling of healing. So whether this person is coming back physically, the situation, or whether you are going backwards mentally to dealing with this, you've got to heal. You've got to allow yourself to heal. So if this is where I leave you, I'm going to be back next week. And if you meet me on the extended, I'm going over there now. Okay, bye.